Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you 10 amazing, absolutely free VST modulation plugins. We will go over choruses, flangers, phasers and much more to give you incredible creative processing options. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about Ableton coming up. If you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out our beginner to advanced Live 12 start to finish course and make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. And to see all of that, check the links in the video description. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here we have an electric piano loop and we're going to be applying the first effect for today, which is Valhalla Space Modulator. Let's play this clip dry first. And Volhalla Space Modulator is a sort of multi-effect with many different modulation features. And in this case, I've chosen a rotary, which sort of mimics a Leslie speaker. And this just gives us a bit more of an organ-ish vibe here. But there's so much more that we can do with Space Modulator. So let's just enable this and listen. Let's take a look at some other features, for example, chorus. It's sounding great. Uh, we've also got reverb kind of options. So it's great for creative processing if you'd like to create some spacious effects. And let's take a look at some other features. We've got soft focus, which just kind of blurs our signal. We've got an echo sort of preset as well. So I really recommend you to check out Space Modulator. It's such a simple plugin, but with these different modes here, you can achieve quite a lot. I'd say every single one of these modes here just gives you a completely different sound. So make sure to mess around with each of those because they're almost like every single one of these modes is a separate effect. All right, so let's take a look at the second plugin for today. This one is really, really simple. Uh, we've got Tal Chorus, which is a simple emulation of the legendary chorus module from the Roland Juno synthesizers. It's incredibly lush and retro sounding and it can be subtle, it can be more aggressive. So let me just show you, we've got a simple synth chord stab. I'm just playing it dry now. And let's just add tall chorus on top. So we're just adding that little bit of stereo width and a little bit of detune. And let me actually just show this for instance on a simple synth like analog. I'm just going to drop it on a new MIDI track and take our tall chorus on there. I'll just take a saw wave, make a very simple patch. All right, so we've got this line. Let's just play it. And let's just enable chorus. So we've got two modes. Right now both are enabled. And now mode one. Mode two. As you can hear, mode two is a bit faster and more aggressive. But if we enable both, we get the ultimate sort of lush signal. And we can also do the dry wet control. I really like the simplicity of this plugin and it's useful in so many use cases. So just make sure to grab it. It's absolutely free. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. This one is called Multiply. And this is also a chorus plugin. 
In this case, we have a vocal melody. Let's just play this one dry first. And let's enable our multiply plugin. All right, so what's going on here is we have quite a few voices going on. We can have up to six different voices. We are doing both frequency and amplitude modulation, and we are filtering the signal to just the higher frequencies. So we're not processing the lows here. And then also we are mixing in the signal with the dry signal. So this is just the dry signal. This is just the wet signal. So it's much more spacious sounding and then we can just sort of blend both. And we've got quite a few very useful presets here. One is called Dimensioner, which is supposed to be a sort of emulation of the iconic Dimension D device, which is just supposed to make your instruments sound slightly more stereo and lively without adding obvious chorusing. So with Dimensioner, and make sure to try this on many different types of instruments. This is just an incredibly versatile chorus plugin. All right, let's take a look at the next one. We've got the Modman. And this one is a free version. There's also a paid version, which just disables this bar at the bottom, but this is fully functional. And Modman just is a bit more creative effect. So let's play these chords first, and then we'll enable this plugin. And I'm going to loop this and let's just enable what we have. This is going to make it sound even more lo-fi. So here's what's going on. We have low pass filtering combined with saturation and amplitude modulation. And these are all being manipulated by an LFO, which you control here with the master speed control. So it just processes differently the left and right channels and just enhances the stereo signal without adding any obvious chorusing. Uh, I think it's a nice little alternative to uh, like the RC20 uh, lo-fi plugin. And it just sounds very warm, very natural especially if you'd just like to make something sound really lo-fi. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. This one is called Emergence. So as you can guess probably by this display, it's a sort of grain delay, which gives you a lot of modulation possibilities. As you can see, we've got four LFOs here, some macros, some randomizers, uh, and we have four streams of granular delays. So. Let's just play this short fragment. And I'm just going to enable our emergence plugin and let's hear it. So uh, I just clicked freeze and this way you can create really long atmospheric loops out of just simple short phrases. And yeah, I just really like the way this can be used for beautiful ambient textures. As for modulation features, we especially have these LFOs which can be really powerful. And let's just take a look at the first stream of grains here. We have it applied to the volume. And let's try applying the LFO to the panning. And we can increase the frequency. So now we are getting these LFO'd 
panning, modulated grains. You could even assign it to pitch. Click on the LFO, just hold Ctrl, then you can just nudge uh, and just add a really small uh, modulations. And clearing obviously just clears your grains. So I really like just messing around with this plugin for experimentation and some creative processing, especially for creating background textures and interesting sounding delays. All right, so we've got two plugins for the next track. We've got an electric guitar playing. Let's just give it a listen. <laughs> We've got the flanger and the phaser, both plugins from Melda Production. These are both part of their free plugins bundle. So let's just give this flanger a listen first. <laughs> It's pretty classic flanger, but we've got a lot more advanced options here, especially with modifying our curves. We can add saturation. We can also add some stereo width. So let's take a look at the phaser now. We can also just increase the feedback. So it's really, really nice. And I think this would be really useful for like creating these uh, signature Daft Punk style phaser effects. And yeah, this can really go crazy, especially if you increase the modes. The more modes, the more flangy it gets and then the feedback as well. This can just really be very detuned. So these would be the plugins from Melda Production. Now we've got three effects from Blue Cat and this is just going to be demonstrated on this simple Future Pop Pad synth. And the first one is going to be Blue Cat's Phaser. So let's just give it a listen. We are just putting it in an audio effect rack and I'm just cutting out the lows and mixing it in with the dry signal, which is just reduced to mono. And this is just giving us this interesting phasing on the sides and on the high signal and the lower frequencies are kept fairly mono. And the next plugin from Blue Cat is going to be the flanger and let's just give it a try. So this is way easier to use than the Melda production plugins. It's just a few knobs and some really great presets. So this is going to be useful in many cases. And finally, we've got the Blue Cats Chorus, which is also really, really useful. It's a nice alternative to both the Tal plugin as well as the Multiply plugin. All right, let's proceed with another bundle of plugins. And this is the Kilohertz Essentials. And here we have four little modules which can be combined in the Kilohertz VST. And we're going to test these four modules. And as you can see, these can be also run just separately, separate VSTs. So we're just going to be testing this on an electric guitar. All right, and let's give our phaser a listen first. Now the flanger. Let's listen to the chorus now. Let's 
So this chorus sounds quite retro. It sounds quite simple. It's very similar to like a classic boss chorus pedal. And then we also have ensemble, uh, which is more of a 90s rack module feature. And basically here you can crank up the voice count up to 16 voices and you get a nice visualization of how they're behaving. Here we have this guitar sample with ensemble. This can also be very lush, can sound very stereo, but then again, this can be a bit too much if you're looking for a subtle vintage sounding chorus. Overall, I really like the simplicity of the Kilohertz modules and I think they're really useful. If you'd just like to get started with some modulation, I'd just grab the Kilohertz bundle and just get started this way. If you'd like to expand on that, I really recommend the Blue Cat effects as well as the model production effects and my favorite out of the other plugins it's got to be the tall chorus and the valhalla effect which um, absolutely sounds gorgeous and it's just a real pleasure to work with if you're looking for some creative processing all right i hope some of these plugins are going to be useful to you Make sure to check out our Music Production Academy with lots of start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres. And if you'd like to learn Ableton 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 start to finish course. Make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition, which includes all of the courses, sound packs and project files in our store. And to see all of that, check the links in the video description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a comment and I will see you in the next ones.